friends, one of my absolute favorite things to wear is a kimono. Putting one on instantly elevates my mood. I have accumulated quite a collection of them over the years, both vintage and new. In this video, I will tell you why I think they're so magical and why I'm comfortable wearing them all over the place, even though I'm not Japanese. <laughs> Welcome to the Dress Up Mom. If you're already a subscriber, thank you and I love you. If you haven't subscribed, please do and tap the bell for notifications. Well, if you watch my channel, you know that I love wearing kimonos. I have an entire playlist on kimonos and clogs, another thing I love to wear, which I will link here if you're interested. I recently read a Wall Street Journal article on a Metropolitan Museum of Art exhibition on kimonos. I really wish I could go to New York just to see this exhibition. I hope it's going to travel around and I can see it when it's on the West Coast. I just think kimonos are so beautiful and this exhibition proves what I've known all along, that they are wearable works of art. The kimono has been around for thousands of years. When it was first seen in Europe in the 17th century, it was seen as a tool to liberate women from restrictive clothing. It was used as an informal dressing gown. Since then, they've evolved and are basically worn everywhere. I think that's because they're so versatile. They can be short and worn as jackets, or they can be long and worn as coats, dresses, or dusters. They come in various fabrics, colors, and patterns, and they can be worn anywhere from coffee shops to fancy evening affairs. In a kimono, you're not looking to blend in. Instead, you're making a statement. So definitely have fun with it and enjoy yourself. I always feel like I'm taking flight when I'm wearing one. The sleeves are my wings. They are great for travel, and I always pack at least one kimono wherever I go. I can wear them in my hotel room as a robe, as a bathing suit cover. I can then wear them out either casually over jeans or cinch them up with a really cool belt and wear it as a dress. I just finished with my massage, my second one. Oh. And I always travel with one of my Jennifer Gray's kimonos because they just go everywhere. They roll up into a suitcase and don't take up very much space. They fit almost everyone and make women feel beautiful and elegant without being overtly sexy. I've been fortunate to source many of my kimonos via vintage, resale, or thrifting. There was also a local San Diego designer, Jennifer Grace, who makes a variety of gorgeous kimonos by hand. And I have quite a few of hers that I've been wearing everywhere for years. They are made out of great fabrics that wash and travel well, and each one can be styled 20 plus different ways. The Wall Street Journal also posed a question that I've been curious about because I sometimes get comments from people saying I shouldn't be wearing them because I'm white. So is it cultural appropriation to reach for a kimono even though you're not Japanese? Well, the Wall Street Journal article concluded it's a bit murky. Appropriation comes from context said the Mets show curator. You're usually safe if you appreciate the garment's history and wear it with respect. Not okay using one for a grotesque Halloween costume or an Instagram thirst trap. The article went on to say that some who were skeptical of non-traditional kimono wear have changed their mind and now think that it is a modern take for people to use the kimono in their own way. When I pose the question to Japanese women I've known, they agree and they say that it's really the love and respect for the garment that's important. In fact, I was told that many Japanese would be pleased to see me wear a kimono as it demonstrates my passion for Japanese culture. If kimono is translated into English, it means thing to wear. Ki equals wear, mono equals thing. One thing I know for sure is that I definitely adore my kimonos and wear them with love and respect. They are magical creations in my opinion and definitely things I enjoy wearing. One final plus to leave you with if you're thinking about trying a kimono. Kimonos are great if you're not good at putting together outfits. You don't need to do too much. You can belt it or not. It's a coat or a dress. It can be anything. The kimono is style. Do you love wearing kimonos too? 
I would love to know that in the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Until next time, have fun and dress it up a little.